Hello there and welcome back. In this video I am going to show you something really fun I have uh, recently worked on. So the basic idea was to write a translator script in Python. And uh, I started to brainstorm how I can achieve that. And uh, well, the first thing that came into my mind was to check if the Google Translate has an API and of course they have and uh, what they do is they sell you specific uh, packages so you can access that API and you can translate whatever you want but since I remembered I'm familiar with the Selenium and uh, I know how to write scripts that can access website, log into specific website, fill in boxes, pull the data out of the HTML elements. I figured I could uh, find a way around this uh, pricing stuff so I can have my translator for free. And uh, now I'm going to show you how I have achieved that. So what uh, we need is either the Chrome driver or the Gecko driver for Firefox or Chrome respectively. And um, what we need to do is uh, use the R parts. So we specify the source language and the destination language and we specify what we want to translate. Of course, uh, there is a bottleneck because if you specify the source language as English and you try to translate something that's not English, then it will not succeed. But if you use it wisely, then you can achieve much with this. <coughs> All right, then without further ado, let's begin. So from Selenium, we will import the web driver from selenium.webdriver.support.ui we will import the web driver wait this is needed because we need to wait for specific elements to appear on this uh, Google Translate site so we can parse it. From time we need the sleep and we need also the arg parse module. So we will have this parser which is going to be coming from the arg parse argument parser and it is going to have a description translate everything we will add to the parser an argument this argument is going to be called source language it is going to be required it is going to have choices which is going to be the link languages array and a help message which says that specify the source language language So the languages I have already pulled out what languages are supported. So if you check the response from the translate.google.com, it will show you this array in the HTML source code. So I assume that this is how uh, the language codes are translated. All right. We will need another argument that is going to be the destination language. And also a 
to be translated. And it is not going to have any choices. But what do you need translating? <coughs> so after this, we will say that the parser needs to parse args. So we pull out the information that was specified. And if the args.source language equals to args.destination language, then we will raise the system exit saying that you need different source and destination. Destination language. After this is done, I will use the Firefox web driver and the driver needs to get me the following site. This is also going to be a bit tricky because we need an F string if you want to use this substitution. But basically, if you want to, uh, if you go to the Google Translate site and you hit, let's say, so you want to translate something from English to Bolivian or Hungarian, then in the first case, if you select the language, it will look like this. And afterwards, whatever you put into the text box, it will be translated based on hitting this URL. Alright, so we are going to have a translate element. This you can pull. from the hmm. uh, so this is an xpath which uh, is used to refer to specific tags in an html code and you have a if you have the chrome browser uh, you can install the chrome path plugin and uh, it helps you pinpoint the exact element that uh, you want to have you also need to find the input element. And the output. Cool. Now if uh, we have prepared the driver with these informations, we will have a translate button that is going to come from the web driver weight with the specified driver and the integer. This integer specifies how much in seconds the driver should wait for the specific element to appear. And until lambda driver driver to find element by xpath and this is going to be the translate element in the input box is something uh, kind of similar but we will use the input element and if we have found the input box we will send the keys which are coming from the 
hugs the to be translated. This is what we specified on our uh, keyboard when we run the script as an argument. And after that, we will click on the translate button. And if you have come this far and everything is working fine, you should some see something appear in the output element, which is the other text box. <coughs> Since it's running in the background, uh, we don't know when the results will arrive. And my assumption is that if we wait three seconds, it should be enough for the Google to translate it. And uh, the result element is going to also come from the web driver wait and this is going to be from the output element and all we need is to show what we have achieved so the result So here we will print the source language and the destination language, but here we need this underscore. Okay, are you ready to take it for a test drive? So there, here we are in the right location. So Python, PyTranslate source language is English. And the destination language is Hungarian. And the to be translated is going to be Python is awesome. Please leave a like and subscribe for more. Now what will happen is that uh, Selenium is going to work with Firefox, open the web page, type whatever I have specified in the text box and wait three seconds and then quit the web driver and as you can see it uh, is working so from translating the sentence i have specified from english to hungarian results in this so it, it makes not much sense but uh, it reads something like, if I want to translate it back to English, so Python is scary. Please leave the mirror image and subscribe for more. <laughs> but uh, you may get the idea. So the better your English, the better the results. And it's only as good as the engineers and the people operating and maintaining the Google Translate. But it's, it's kind of something and it's for free. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.